So I want to spend just a second talking about how do you negotiate printing a uh, booklet if you can't get your hands on a uh, like a SPU MFP printer or if you just hate the quality of that particular printer or if you know you're just stuck someplace where you just want to create a PDF that actually has all these like crop marks and all the pieces and parts that you're looking for so that you can export it anywhere so you can just pr take this thing down to a Kinko's or a printing uh, service and just say hey print these pages out and then you can take them home and cut them up and put the booklet together so we're going to go in here into InDesign and just want to have your InDesign document set up just like we've been talking about where everything is all uh, structured correctly and then you just want to go to file and you want to go to again print booklet so just like if we were going to print out of the SPU MFP printer we're going to do the exact same thing um, but here where you go right here at the beginning where you, you go to setup, you want to click on the print settings and instead of the printer like the secure print one like we normally would have it set up, you want to select this one called postscript file. And so that's just basically going to make this generic and instead of actually sending it to a printer, it's going to kind of like print out a representation of it for you on your uh, desktop. And so the PPD you can that's just like the printer sort of uh, profile. You can actually change that to device independent if you want, or the sharp one, whatever, whatever makes sense. Um, but it's basically just telling the software how to like kick this thing out um, so it can be printed, right? So yeah, whatever you might want to play around with all these settings because it's going to be different for everything. Your particular computer setup might not even have like the sharp. It might just have some other printer you have installed or device independent. So it's really up to you. Um, what you do. So you got to kind of troubleshoot and problem solve this. But once you do that, if you click OK, you'll come back in here and you see, OK, the printer that's selected is PostScript and the booklet type probably we want to make sure is two up consecutive if we're going to do the accordion fold thing, right? You could do like a three up consecutive if you wanted to. Uh, it's totally up to you. And again, you can always check on this stuff by clicking on the preview button and you'll see, OK, there's my piece of paper and the book is way too big and it's facing the wrong way. So something's not quite right. So what you need to do now is just click here on the print settings button. And this is where you can control all the variables, right? And so you can go to setup and probably the first thing I want to check on is my paper size. So I know I want this to be on ledger paper, which is going to be uh, 11 by 17. So I would recommend that that's printable at any Kinko's or any kind of like Office Max, any place you might want to go. Then we want to make sure the orientation is correct. So right now it's set for like upside down portrait. Let's just go with a regular old portrait output. And where it says page position, let's just go ahead and make that centered. That's always the safest thing, it seems like to me. And then when we go to marks and bleed, we just want to make sure we have these crop marks checked so that we know where to fold and where to cut this booklet out. You probably don't need to mess with the rest of these, but of course you're welcome to. If you click OK now, all right, if we go back to our setup and then the preview, you'll see, OK, it's oriented the right way, but it's too big. It doesn't fit on the piece of paper. So the way to fix that would be to go here into print settings, go back to setup, and where it says scale, we could change the scale manually, or you can just click scale to fit and then click OK. Now if we go back to our, um, uh, to the, um, uh, to the, preview representation here you'll see okay all three pages are fitting on there and that works so or I could go back in here and I could go back to setup and instead of three up consecutive I could say two up consecutive and go back to preview and now you see and you can kind of see there's the little crop marks where the folds and the cutouts are going to be so that's exactly what I want make sure it fits so now I've got my setup selected for postscript two up consecutive I can just click print and instead of this going to a printer it's going to ask me like where do I want to put this thing that's it's basically creating a, um, a postscript file right and so I'm gonna put it on the desktop here uh, I'm gonna um, you know just you know figure out some way to like you know just so I can separate it from the other junk I have there and just click Save and I'm gonna to want to it's gonna ask me which extension like file extension and the InDesign INDD is for InDesign you want this to go to PS which stands for postscript so just click OK. It's just going to do kind of the same thing it does when it packages to print, where it's going to kick it out of the printer. All right. So now if I look at my um, at this and I uh, um, sort of go to open it, 
I can double click it and it will open it up in whatever preview program I've, uh, I've told it to. Um, it just depends on how your computer is set up. Um, but it's gonna it's gonna open it up and you can see okay all of the stuff here that I need to, to use to crop and to fold are all it's all set and ready for me. Um, this image is all pixelated because I didn't I lost the link there but um, so it's all there. So this is something I can now take to any Kinkos any place and ask them to print it and they'll print it out for me. Um, last step would be if I wanted to I could actually convert this into a PDF by opening it up in Adobe Acrobat which I'm I'll just you can basically just drag it down on there and open it up um, and then you can resave it again as a PDF, an Adobe PDF, and that's super portable. A PostScript file is a little different from the PDF, but you get the gist of it. So that's how you do this. Um, again, you can then take that file, put it on a thumb drive or upload it online and print it pretty much anywhere. So that's the process. Hopefully this helps. It's always different depending on which computer you're using, so it's not going to look exactly the same, but this is the general principle. See what you can do. Thanks.